Tatter make three promises as details emerge after Barcelona draw. Tatter are reportedly promising three things as they look to buy Manchester United. Private investors from the Middle East are poised to bid for the club, with the Glazers open to selling up. While there's been talk of the Americans potentially staying, that appears an unlikely scenario at the current moment in time. However, they confirmed back in November they were considering their options. At a time where mass investment is needed both on and off the field, Tatter are thought to be in pole position to buy United, even if they'd face opposition from some quarters. And Sky Sports News claim they've made three promises as they look to purchase the Red Devils and in the Glazers' rule once and for all. It said the first thing they're willing to do is invest in the team. The Glazers have spent big during their time as United owners, but virtually all of the money has been generated by the club rather than themselves. With Qatar, however, things would be different with the Middle Eastern nation willing to give Eric Ten Hag the transfer funds he needs to reshape the squad. A second thing they're pledging is an investment in Old Trafford. The stadium, long a staple of English football, has shown signs of wear and tear in recent years. Certainly, it now pales in comparison to the grand arenas occupied by the likes of Tottenham and Arsenal who have both moved into new homes over the past 20 years. And a third thing they're willing to bring is money to invest in the city of Manchester itself. There's been speculation of surrounding areas benefiting from the Qatari cash, and that, too, could work in their favor. Right now, it's unclear who the next owners of United will be. Yet Qatar seem to be in pole position to purchase the club, at a time where Sir Jim Ratcliffe is also interested. Ratcliffe has long been a fan of United and is keen to leave build a legacy at the age of 70. He previously missed out on Chelsea, however, and whether a repeat happens is something only time will tell. Meanwhile, those details have all emerged after United's 2-2 draw with Barcelona in the Europa League on Thursday night, and Ten Hag felt his side dominated the game and were unlucky not to win. He said, I think we dictated the game. Apart from maybe 15 minutes in the first half, we had some difficulties, but in the rest we were dictating the game and we had so many chances. I was a little bit disappointed that at halftime it was 0-0 because we should have scored, and the opportunities they had we created by ourselves. But I think it was a great game. Two attacking teams. I think it was a Champions League game, even more than that, so I really enjoyed the game. In the end, 2-2 and we have to finish it in Old Trafford. He also paid tribute to Marcus Rashford, too, saying, of course I will credit Rashford definitely because he is in great form, but the whole team did well. I think it was a really good team performance. In other news, Barcelona confirmed Pedri injury as Gavi suspended for second leg as United a huge four-player boost for second leg. Barcelona have confirmed Pedri could face a spell out of action with injury after being forced off against Manchester United. Barcelona's club website states Pedri has suffered a hamstring injury. He will undergo tests on Friday. Spanish newspaper has report Pedri could face as long as four weeks out. It appears highly unlikely he will face Manchester United in the second leg of this Europa League tie. United hosts Barcelona at Old Trafford next Thursday and will have to adjust without Pedri. Xavi was quoted after the game, we lost Pedri due to the calendar. It's very demanding, which is why rotation is very important, especially for those players playing all the time, to avoid these injuries, but a lot is at stake in the last four months of the season. The 20-year-old was forced off in the 41st minute against Manchester United, replaced with Sergi Roberto. It is part of a second blow suffered by Barcelona with Gavi picking up a yellow card in the second half for fouling Fred. Gavi was just one yellow card away from suspension before the tie. All cards are wiped out only after the quarter-final stage. Blow for Barcelona as United prepare to welcome back stars. Manchester United were without Lisandro Martinez and Marcel Sabitzer due to suspension in the first leg, with Anthony and Scott McTominay injured. All four could return for the next match, with a question mark over Anthony Marshall. Christian Eriksen and Donny van de Beek are long-term absentees. Manager Eric Ten Hag said this week that McTominay and Anthony could return to training within days. Barcelona are without Ausmane Dembo for the second leg, while Sergio Busquets is expected to be rushed back for the tie at Old Trafford with Gavi and Pedri unavailable. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates. Get all